This just in, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry bestie Boozy is online peddling Kate Middleton conspiracy theories. Of course he is, because he's got to promote Spoutable, where you'll go watch these conspiracy videos, and then he can hack and leak all your data. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I am Andy Signor, and we have part two of our interview with Peter Tickton that I was supposed to drop today, but I'm now going to drop tomorrow because this news was just too important. But guys, I implore you, please, I don't know why the algorithm didn't give it to all of you. It is a very telling and exclusive interview with Samantha Markle's attorney. And no, her lawsuit is not over. You're not going to miss this. I'm going to link it at the end, but I hope you guys will support and make sure to give this video some love. We'll give you part two tomorrow morning. But this was breaking and I had to react because this was making me so angry. Christopher Boozy's back online and now he's peddling Kate Middleton conspiracies. And what's even just more funny about it is he's out there whining about it. Oh, why will they stop dragging Meghan and Harry into this? I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, right. No, nice try, buddy. You're never going to speak for yourself now. You've gone so deep to the dark side in defending Meghan and Harry and faking online bullies all this stuff that you've done, you, Omid Scobie, you are now Megan's mouthpiece. If you ever talk about royal stuff, it's impossible to dissociate you from them because you've been so toxically connected to defend them at all costs. And of course you'd be out here now trying to peddle anybody who's against Kate or wants to do what Kate doesn't want, which is Catherine doesn't want, which is all these peddled conspiracy theories out there. You're out there trying to collect data so you can get them to watch your stupid videos on Spoutable. Look at this. He's been promoting this like crazy. And it's very telling because usually links like this don't actually work very well on Twitter, but it shows me he's been using his bots to get people to click over. Now I'm gonna click this once just because I suspect, watch what I'm gonna do. And I hate to even click, do not click. This website uses cookies, there it is. Let me in, no. Do not allow this site to get your cookies. He will get all this sort of information and this is a site. It's been reported, I'm not lying here. Spoutable's API coughed up passwords and so much more information that could let attackers take over anyone's account. This was a massive breach. He's trying to play like nothing big happened. Do not, I repeat, do not sign up for Spoutable. Close it down, get away, do not get involved. And I, so I haven't watched this video. I don't really care to watch his videos, but, but here it was comparing. I've compiled a few older videos of William and Kate walking together at red carpets. Like that's, Duh, clearly that would be a different walking thing than away from public, uh, as well as the recent video from Windsor Farm. Take a look and decide for yourself if it's Kate or not. In my opinion, we still haven't seen Kate in public. He's He, he then leans in even further. Some are missing the point. Setting aside many presumptions, let's co concentrate on the facts. The initial photo was leaked on March 4th, and 14 days later, a video depicting Kate surfaced, appearing uh, appeared markedly different in a video from Kate on March 4th. Look, the hair is down on the first one. She's wearing glasses. I can't see her body. I, I don't understand what we're trying to even imply here. Yeah, you can make anything a conspiracy if you want to, Boozy. But this is not evidence. This is not so shocking that we can be like, yo, oh my God, he's right. We were told Kate was recovering and would resume her royal duties shortly. Yet in the recent video, she's holding a bag and moving briskly. If she's capable of such activity, why isn't she back to fulfilling her royal duties yet? because she's still healing, Christopher. It takes a while to heal from abdominal surgery. In fact, we've had nurses on. Why don't you speak to a nurse before you so ignorantly go out there and harass this woman? If you knew the facts, we, nurses will verify, they want you to do light lifting. She does. They don't want her to go back to work yet. She's supposed to relax, take a break. But yes, she's supposed to go out and do minor exercise. That's part of it. You can't just sit. Otherwise, that can actually lead to more complications, you moron. You are so ignorant and cocky and full of yourself. You know nothing. You are a fool. You are a charlatan trying to scam users online to agree to you. And of course, he's trying to rally into this. Of course, he wants to get all the Kate conspiracists to come over to, to his side because that's sort of his angle. Uh, he's more Megan Harry. He can lean them in there and then he'll slowly try to say, well, you know what you also don't know is Kate, uh, sorry, that Megan and Harry have also been mistreated. Did you know that? This is all the game he's playing. He's a complete con man and he'll block anybody who attempts to try to tell the record straight. Uh, and what's so funny is, yes, he's out there peddling these conspiracy theories as now many outlets are reporting. What's really funny to me is him now, wah! 
is journalists. Wait, stop dragging Harry and Meghan into this. I'm speaking for myself, not Harry and Meghan. These are my opinions based on publicly available information. Oh, right. Yeah, right, buddy. Like you, like we can separate you from those two now, given all the fake reports you've posted, given all that you've done in the documentary, you are no longer a regular guy who just gets to have an opinion. You are a Megan and Harry leaning person. Now I'm not saying I can prove that Megan and Harry are telling them to do this. They very well may not, but it's still in Boozy's best interest to appease his clients, Megan and Harry by being out there and constantly defending them. I can't prove that Harry and Megan would tell him to do. In fact, I would just be shocked at the stupidity of such a thing. And I'm not even saying that's possible, but you are always going to be associated with them. Of course you are. So you don't get to say that. Three articles linking me to Harry and Meghan. So now I can't have an opinion about being linked to Harry and Meghan. No, you can't. You can't. You will forever be linked to them because you've been their mouthpiece and you've peddled nonsense, fake accounts and spam bots and all this nonsense. You did it with Amber too. Uh, people just don't talk about her anymore because she's nothing important anymore. Uh, but yes, when you associate yourself with losers like this and defend them so viciously, yeah, it's hard for us to then not associate with them. Didn't someone from TMZ say, see, Z say they weren't sure if it was Kate? Who cares? Like we trust TMZ now? Like it's not in their best interest, Boozy, to peddle this conspiracy longer. They're all getting clicks. I could be doing Where's Kate part 805 and probably be getting a million views on this channel, the other channel. I have I was pivoted to do this, but I, I'm not doing that. I, I got a report on it. It's gotten so massive and I have asked questions. And in the beginning with the Photoshop edit, edits, there were concerns. I'm like, well, what's going on? But this idea that they're putting out, uh, who who's at the market then? Stunt doubles? I mean, that's what they're really trying to say here. And, 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 and he's not the only one. Some of my audience, you're going to agree with him. Like, here, here's the, uh, this is where they filmed it. The lights are still up. Uh, yeah, they're like, this is a set. They just, they propped it up with some extras walking around and they made this all happen is what they're now trying to elude. Um, look, the reality is, Boozy, you are not helping matters. You are peddling a conspiracy. Why? To get people to click over to your site. Let's call it what it is. You don't care about Catherine, where she is, or what's going on. You don't. You want the clicks. You're grifting off of this. You're trying to get more, and I see it, and I'm not going to lie. The fact that you have 1,000 likes on a, on a linked out video shows me you have been pumping this out through your bot sentinel crap like crazy. Because let me also be clear, X as a platform is the most hypocritical Garbage fire, garbage dumpster fire of a site on earth. He claim Elon claims all these things, but the reality is it is just a wild, wild west of crap. There's no protection. There's no stopping of spam. Bots are all over the place. Elon has attempted to try to address it, but avoids it at all costs because he knows if he loses the bots, he loses traffic. And then the traffic isn't as high and then he loses sponsors. Elon is not being honest about X, the platform, and anything else. It, the site sucks. I'm on it for necessity to get data like this and everything else, but I wish to God it would almost just shut down because everyone would have to funnel somewhere else where there's at least some proper safety protocols and attempts to block out spam. There is no other site I've dealt with online that's supposed to be as legitimate as X is that has as much spamming and har just harassing levels uh, that could easily be pushed out. And he doesn't. So Boozy's been capitalizing on this forever and even created his own version, which is what Spotify, Spot, sorry, Spoutable is. Guys, don't click on it. I, I've told you, I've warned you, you can get your data hacked on that site. He is not a secure site. He's not a, a legitimate person. He is a charlatan in my opinion, and I would not risk your data going there. And yeah, if you if you scroll through, I challenge you to Google shots, any find any photo of her putting socks over her leggings. I mean- I, she just went through surgery. She might be cold. I've done that recently because it was cold out. Who knows? Well, I, well, this doesn't prove anything. You're peddling this to keep it going because you're getting some engagement. That's all you're doing here. And uh, now you're whining and complaining that we're connecting to Megan. Yeah, you're always going to be connected. And again, you want everybody to go over to Spottable. That's all you're doing. Look at this, spottable.com. You're, you're, you are using the alternate to Twitter, yet you're always on Twitter. Why? Because your site sucks. 
and you're just using Twitter to push people over to your site. And it's shocking to me that X is allowing it. He knows how to use the bots and he's still getting away and it just shows me how bad both platforms are. Spoutable, Spoutable NX. Uh, this is, uh, this guy sucks. He's the worst. Even if you are confused and humoring some things out there that you're seeing or you're at least asking some questions, I hear you. But Christopher Boozy is not the one you want to listen to. This man doesn't care. This man's going to exploit and grift off it like crazy. And uh, here, of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, so you're you're a scammer, dude. You're a scammer. What do you think? Are you shocked that Boozy's remark, you know, done this? Do you think Megan and Harry told him to do it? What are your thoughts? Hit that bell for alerts. Smash that like button. Leave your comments down below. Look, I, I, I don't know if Megan and Harry told him to. But again, it's in his best interest to appease them. So I would not be surprised. Before you go, make sure you click on over next to Peter Tickton's interview because Samantha Markle's uh, case is not done. You're not going to miss it. In fact, there, I'm going to put it right there in the left. Click on over there next, support it, share it, get the word out for Samantha and Peter uh, because Megan, this case ain't over yet.